Hi, now I am going to configure a client to site VPN for this tunnel. In my last video, I configured how to integrate MSAT authentication with the firewall. So, for the client to site, what we have to do just this is like a actually a dummy firewall. So, this firewall it doesn't have any license. So, if you click on the VPN, I try to connect SLI VPN control is refused because to get a VPN services it should have a VPN license but these uh, I will configure the steps which will be good for troubleshooting the VPN issue or like how to configure so for that purpose uh, what we have to do here first go to the VPN setting and click here on the service properties <coughs> lock the screen enable the VPN client to size description no and the IP address what IP is going to be listening I'm going to create explicit IP we can create like first IP and second IP depend on like uh, what is our topology so here I'm going to add like uh, my IP address 192.68 I'm going to add this IP address over here which is on the Ethernet 5 so let's go on the control I will show you what's the, what is the IP. On Ethernet 5, I have a IP address is 192.168.86.2.1. And that's the like a gateway, but the default IP is that's the, the DHCV uh, 86.145. So M86.145. That's the only two things we need to do here. Just enable the services, name the service, and put the IP address. What should be the listening IP, like from which IP it is going to connect. Send changes, activate. Okay, I'm going to keep it low for the. We'll go to config configuration. So the next, I need a VPN setting. So go to the VPN setting. We need to uncheck this one. It means like we are enabling the services. We need to create a certificate here. So private certificate. Create a new. Okay. Certificate the second. Create a new certificate. And we have to put the name here. Name. Okay. Amit. State. I can put Canada. Organization until that's it. Okay, we, we can we have to fill up all the information for this one. one I'm gonna do the only small steps now. Service has been enabled. Send the changes now. Go to the like client network. These are like network which we the client will get after the he they connect to the DS uh, tunnel. Client to side. <coughs> The network address what I want they should receive 172.16.10.0 slash 24 and their gateway should be 172.16.10.100 okay send the changes activate keep log okay now the third step what we have to do go to the client to site VPN here we can uh, create like if you have to create a separate certificate for any single client we can do it over here but we will uh, lock the screen first go to external CA and here I am using a click here for the options this option is used like how they are gonna authenticate the users before giving them an IP address so I am gonna use a authentication MSAD like MSAD I already uh, configured in my last video and that's it okay send the changes activate keep log so so if like 
for the double sorting like if somebody do like uh, what are the authentic method click here and they will know like it's MACD now we have to create a new group policy in the we can put the name client to site tunnel static name we're gonna use the same network is it, it 172.16.10.0 is the same network which it we configured before and that's it and here like we need to provide the network routes so once it connect here uh, on like in which internal network it is going to communicate so right now we have only one network suppose if we have like multiple networks here like we have like three vlans uh, one dot uh, uh, zero another is like one nine two one six eight two dot zero network another third network and we what we want we want like all the and uh, vpn client they can communicate in all the networks so we have to define all the networks here okay so for this moment i have only one network so i'm gonna configure this network here that network is 192.168.1.0 and double click on this one 192.168.1.0 slash 24 okay that's it it's done and yeah this is like another a very important part here so if we want to add like any extra security like suppose in MSAD I have configured a group here if you go on here I created a group uh, the group name is VPN user so anyone who is a member of this group this will be able to access it so that I can put the extra security here just double click on this one and group partners would be VPN space users okay so now anyone who is the member of this group they will be able to connect to the Veracoda and they will get a IP from this network and they can communicate on this one okay send the changes activate and activate keep logs now everything is set up we need to create like one more policy over here if you go on the forwarding rule These are like by default rules from the barracuda so I'm going to delete all these actually it's will be done from the configuration tree okay so I need to create a one more rule here click on the plus sign pass Role names will be or we can do the small name client to site tunnel. So source can be like it's we have to define the specific so source could be from one seventy two series. So this is the IP like uh, that the user will receive when they will connect with the VPN okay so what I want all those VPN users they can get any services and then they can go to any network or we can hear specific specify like with they can only reach out to LAN network or they can go to internet we can play with these uh, policies also connection methods would be yeah that's a, another thing okay send changes activate activate keep logs actually i need to move this rule on the top of this one otherwise it will get block again send change activate and activate keep log okay this is how we configure the client to site vpn tunnel 
but if I go over here on my VPN, so I'm not still able to connect. The reason I do not have the license, this is a dummy uh, firewall. If I go here on the license, and you can see here, services, I can use the firewall, but VPN services, VPN, no valid license form. That's why I'm not able to connect. Otherwise, normally, uh, what happened, like anyone, we can take the computer, connect with that uh, listening IP address, it, it will uh, the request will go to the firewall firewall will authenticate the user with the msid server and then it will grant an ip address thank you